and welcome to another All Make video. My name is Jade Marcel, this is Kyle Parsons, and today we are going to be going through the error codes that are applicable to all the runs and valves. So without further ado, let's jump into the first one. Right, and now I'm going to be showing you just how to force an E1 error code on this valve. Um, I'm actually going to be taking the gear for this valve out, the locating gear. Right, and there we have the E1 error code displayed, and that is now telling us that this valve is not able to find its location on the locating PC. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you the E2 error code, and what I've done is I've run some interference in the uh, locating cable. So we're just going to switch power on to this valve right now. And what this simulates on site is potentially water damage, cable damage, something that will interfere with the signal of this interconnecting cable. There we have the E2 error code. So that E2 error code then needs an investigation into whether there's water damage on the valve or whether it's a damaged cable on that valve as well, which would need to be replaced. All right, so as for the error codes that are prevalent to all of the runs and valves, um, I was able to show you the E1 and the E2. As for the E3 and the E4, I'm not able to simulate those because those would mean actual damage on the valve. Mm -hmm. So your E3 and your E4 error codes are your PC boards that are damaged. So if you have an E3 or an E4, it is definitely a PC board that is damaged and that would need to be replaced. Thank you so much for joining us on this video. As always, please leave a like if you found this video helpful and leave any questions that you may have down in the comments below. Otherwise, that is all from us. See you in the next video.